Okay. Our first required, A, says refer to the information under the heading Aquarius P2O Limited. You're required to, to review the calculations and work performed by the liquidator. You're required to comment on any mistakes that the liquidator may have made. Your comment should include why you believe it is to be a mistake. You are not required to perform or perform or reperform any calculations, and you may assume that the accounting profit before tax has been correctly calculated at 175,000. All right. So we're looking at this calculation that was performed by the liquidator. Now, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to do the actual liquidation as if they ask us to do it as a liquidation question, because. Well, for two reasons. The first reason is that will give you an opportunity to see me do it, go through it just one more time, so that you, um, especially if you're a little bit uncertain about liquidation. But the second one is also, it's the way that I would recommend that you do it, is in your mind, as you're going through it, you think about what you would do in the calculation, and then comment on what they've done differently. Okay, so, part A. So, we're going to have our liquidation calculation and on the equity method. Remember what we're going to try and calculate is we're going to try and calculate the closing balance. So what we do is we create two columns. The one is a column for contributed tax capital and the other one is for reserves subject to dividends tax. That's usually just your retained earnings. That's the most common one, but any other reserve which is also not contributed tax capital should be considered there. It's very important for you guys to remember that. Contributed tax capital is the only one that's not a dividend. Right, so we start off our opening balance. So again guys, I know this is not exactly what it's asking, but let's do it. So 20,000 and a million and 65. Then we say plus accounting profit. Now, they've told us in this question that the accounting profit is 175,000, and then the required tells you that it has been correctly calculated. So we can just use that. I'm going to just say here, uh, refer to calculation A, and just to take you through what we would do there for accounting. So for accounting, let's just quickly go back. Let's see what happens. So accounting is you now, you just account for everything that happened. So the first thing is it was this trading stock. The trading stock, the opening stock forms part of your cost of sales calculation. So this forms part of your cost of sales. Is a 10,000 rands deduction from profit. So this is your accounting profit before tax. Okay, so 10,000. Then, what do we do for accounting here? We give it away for free. Do, is that correct? Right, for accounting it is. It just means we've made a loss. Alright. So that's the first bit. Then we have this Asset. The asset was sold for 1.2 million rands and it had a market value or a carrying value, sorry, of a million. So, disposal of asset. Selling price 1.2 million. Carry value, book value 1 million. That gives us a 200,000 rands profit on disposal. Okay, very simple. Very, again, guys, it's accounting, not tax. And then we have this distribution of the dividend. Okay, that's nothing here. Over here, we have the liquidators' fees of 15,000. For accounting, that's an expense. Right, so if you add all of this up, you get 175,000 profit before tax. So that's basically how we calculated that 
175,000. For our calculation now, this is our liquidation calculation. We now go and add that to your reserves. It's not contributed tax capital. Contributed tax capital is um, the amount that you receive for issuing shares. From this, we need to deduct less taxes. Now, guys, the only taxes you would consider here usually, well, any taxes which are relevant, but which are paid by the company is income tax, and then dividends tax, but important here, only for dividends in specie. That's important because remember, the dividend on a cash dividend, the person who takes the knock is the shareholder, so it won't for each year. But for a company, if they pay a dividend in tax distribution, or dividend, dividend in tax, dividend in species distribution, they are liable for the tax on it. <laughs> dividend in tax. Man, some days. Some days. Okay, here we go. Calculation B, and this is your income tax. We've calculated the profit before tax, and now we deduct the income tax from it. Okay, so. Income tax also starts, I just remembered in this case, it's opening stock, so it starts with section 22.2, and opening stock is last year's closing stock, which is that 10,000. Then there's a disposal as a dividend in specie. So section 22.8 says recoup the market value, and the market value was 13,000. If I remember correctly, yes, 13,000. So already I want you to see for accounting, and if you haven't paid attention to it, make sure you see the difference in accounting. Accounting will have a negative 10,000, but for tax will have basically a 3,000 rand taxable income. Right, then we have a disposal of the machine. Okay, so the cost of the machine, they tell you the machine had a cost of 4 million on the 1st of January 2022. So lay section 12C 2022, 2023, yes, and Okay, we are looking at the 2025 year, and I'm just going to remind you it was not used, so there's nothing in this year. So in 2022, we claimed 40%, 2023, 20%, uh, 20%, 2024, also 20%. So, okay, so there's a tax value of 800,000. Our uh, selling price limited to our original cost. It was sold for 1.2 million. So it's a 400,000 rands recoupment. Okay, that gets taxed. Okay. Then we have our capital gain, proceeds, which is the selling price, minus the recoupment, 400,000, gives us 800,000. Our base cost is the cost of 4 million, less our allowances. The allowance is the sum of these amounts here, which is 3.2 million. Right, and that's 800,000, and we have no capital gain, which makes sense because we didn't dispose it for more than its original cost of 4 million. Okay, what else is then left here? We don't do the dividends, there's no deduction from tax, but there's the liquidation, liquidator's fees. Liquidator. Can we claim it? 
not available as not in the production of income. Okay, so guys, if we add all of this up, 403,000 rands is our taxable income. The tax on that at 28% is 112840. We take that 112840 and that now goes into my liquidation calculation again. 112840. The dividends tax here is the 13,000 rands market value of the stock given to the shareholder times 20%, which is 2,600. So now this is our closing balance 20,000 and 112,560. The dividends tax is calculated in this case as follows dividends tax. Okay, so what I'm going to just do now is I'm going to just write down these names. Frankie, Lucko, Fluke, and Hurty. Frankie, Lucko, Fluke, and Hurty. And remember from our discussion during the reading time, all of these are subject to dividends tax, except for Hurty. Okay, 30, 30, 30, and 10%. So they're all exactly the same. So 1124560 times 30%, that's the, that person's share, times 20, gives us 67474. So that's for all of them except for Hertie because Hertie section 64F1A will apply. Okay, so we add all of that up. 202 421. And we can deduct that. This is the net cash that goes to the sh shareholders. Right, so they will each include that amount, the gross amount before dividends tax as a gr uh, an amount received, and they'll take this amount, their share of that. Sorry, or sorry, sorry guys, this is also part of the net cash. It should be added there. Added there. Um, they also, this part of it will be a proceeds on the disposal of an asset. Uh, this is a bit of a reminder for you. Okay, so now that we've done all of this, let's look at what was done in the question. Okay, so we start here with the liqui uh, liquidation calculation using equity. Right, so they start with equity opening balance 1085. So let's go and make sure that we talk about what we did differently. We first of all split it between contributed tax capital and reserve size to dividends tax. So this opening balance, can you see? We've split it, which is what they didn't do. The accounting profit was 175,000, which they tell us is correct. We've also done that. Then the income tax calculation. They calculated 665,000. We can see we've calculated 112,840. Okay. Um, before I look at that, we also have dividends tax on the dividend in specie of 2,600, which they don't have. Okay, they didn't do it. Okay, now remember, you're not required to calculate on why the amounts are different. So you wouldn't say, mine is, theirs is 665 and ours is 112,840, because you don't have to calculate the amounts. So you wouldn't, when you're commenting on this, when you're just looking at this, you would say, um, you would talk about that not being split, you, would, maybe you won't talk about that because it's correct. Yeah, you won't talk about it, but what you would do is you would go to the tax calculation, which we have here, and then comment on it. Okay, so let's look at the tax calculation. So the first thing is the opening stock of 10,000. Um, we've deducted that as well. We're happy. There's the 13,000 that we've recouped under section 22.8. 
but they made it null. So that's the first mistake. Cost, then they calculate the machine, cost of 4 million. Right, which do you do? And then we calculate the allowances as 40, 20, 20 because it's a new machine. They calculate it as 20, 20, 20. So this first one there is incorrect. Then when they sell it, they use the selling price instead of the 1.2 million rands, which we used. So obviously the recoupment is different. You won't comment on that because you're not doing the calculation. Then when we calculate the capital gain, proceeds should be selling price, 1.2, minus the recoupment. You can see from their calculation, they didn't take that into account. They just used 1.2. The base cost is 4 million, but we saw that it must be calculated as 4 million less all of the allowances that you've claimed in the past. So they didn't claim the allowances against it. They then also deducted the liquidation cost of 15,000 rands, and we know that we can't claim it as a deduction. So those are all comments that you would make. Right? Then, if we just go back to our liquidation calculation, so that's the amount. They then calculated 20% dividends tax on the full amount. What is the issue that we saw here? If we look at the, the full calculation of the dividends tax, Frankie, Luke, uh, Laco, sorry, Frankie, Laco, and Fluke, they all have dividends tax, which is correct, but Hurti shouldn't have. So it's incorrect of them to multiply that full amount by 20%. Right, and that, guys, that is your solution, talking about that. Right, and we'll continue with the next question in our next recording.